Hey, and welcome back to the channel. If you've been following along, you know I'm in the process of building a plastic model kit of a 68 Volkswagen Beetle. And I'm at the point where I need to start painting some stuff. Having never built one of these before, I'm finding that there's quite a few things that I, I need that I don't have. There's a few specialized tools that I've had to pick up and several that I already had, such as an airbrush. So it's winter right now and spraying outside is, is not really an option. So I did a little research and looked at some different designs of uh, spray booths, a small portable type of, uh, with a, with a fan and a vent and a filter. Buying one was a bit expensive, so I decided to make one. The one I'm demonstrating to you now, I actually made completely from stuff around the house and I didn't have to go buy anything. The process starts with a box if for some reason you don't have one, you can actually buy these at your local home store or Lowe's or Home Depot. They sell them and they're actually very cheap. So start out taping up the inside uh, uh, flaps. So we want to make a solid surface that has no voids in it, can't let air any, anywhere in or out. I just use standard clear packing tape for this. Did it on both sides in uh, the bottom and the uh, bottom inside and the bottom outside of the box. Here I'm doing this in my kitchen. So I've covered the table with uh, some butcher paper to help protect it. Happen to have this fan in the garage use it during the summer mostly, but it'll work for this just fine. First check, make sure that the, it's facing in the right direction. We want the air to be blowing out, not in. We're gonna line it up and mark it out. So we know where to cut the hole. It's a little rough, so we're gonna even that up a little bit with a marker. quick tool tip for you. When cutting thick material with a blade, don't try to go all the way through on the first try. You'll end up using a lot more force than is necessary. Once you have the opening cut out to the right size, the fan should stuff right in there. If it's kind of a loose fit, you may want to tape it in or support it from the back. This could also be done with a box fan, just strapped to the back of the box doesn't have to be inserted into the back of it.
Here I'm using a little masking tape just to seal around the edges. The fan's actually pretty tight in the in the opening, so the tape's not really holding it in place. It's just it's just there to prevent leaks. I highly recommend some sort of a filter to catch the small paint particles before they get to the fan, because they will just build up on the fan blade and that will reduce its efficiency. Here I'm creating a replaceable baffle that can just slide into the box and uh, be able to, that way I can pull it back out and change the filter if I need to. You'll want to measure carefully here because the baffle needs to be a, a snug fit. Actually, I'm not sure baffle was the right word for this. If there's another technical name for this, let me know in the comments. Here I'm using an old piece of uh, flooring, the, the tongue on an old piece of flooring to crease the cardboard evenly so that it will fold uh, straight along a line. Here we're doing the same thing again with some scrap pieces of cardboard that we're gonna use to make a frame to hold the filter. You'll see how that works here in just a moment. Once you've got all four corners taped together, you'll take your filter. In this case, this is the same size filter I already have that use in the, uses in my basement. So I just went and grabbed one out of the storage. Now we just cut out an opening for the, uh, for the filter. Here we're using some hot glue. I, I actually prefer hot glue for joining cardboard rather than tape. In most cases, if it's more permanent and uh, 
and it's not going to move around once it's done. Here we're test fitting the baffle to make sure it's good and snug, although it will be turned around the other direction. Here are a couple of video suggestions for you. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. Thank you again.